Okay, this video lecture is about percentage error and percentage difference. Now, pretty often uh, when you're working in, let's say, a lab or you're working at um, in a professional career in the sciences, math, what happens, or engineering, what, what happens is many times you you perform some sort of an experiment and you want to know how far off your experiment is, whether from a previous trial or f how far it is from some established value. In those cases, we use the percentage error and percentage difference calculation in order to express how far off those uh, trials or that experiment is. Okay, so in this lecture, again, what we'll be doing is looking at both of these. Let's start off with percentage error. So for percentage error, percentage error is the cat in, in terms of the equation is equal to the magnitude of the following x of e which x of e is the experimental value minus x of a which x of a is the accepted or theoretical value divided by all of that divided by x of a times 100 okay now in terms of the numerator the expected value minus the accepted value, we can actually turn those around. It's not important that it has to be in that specific order. And the reason is, is because we have the absolute value signs around our equation there. And that those absolute value signs is just going to give us the magnitude. So again, the percentage error is equal to the magnitude of the following x of e minus x of a, all of that divided by x of a times 100 okay so let's look at an example where we have used the percentage error and by the way when we're doing the percentage error we'll, it, we're doing that uh, comparing that again based off of some accepted or theoretical value so in this exp in this example here what we have is uh, we have a dense object that's being dropped a uh, distance of 100 meters and the acceleration of the object is found to be 10.2 pardon me, uh, meters per second square. So for this experiment, the percentage error is equal to what value? And that's the question that's posed to us. What is the percentage error uh, for this experiment? So if you're not very aware of this, uh, gravity, the experimental uh, value for gravity is 9.8 meters per second square. And since we're dropping this object from above uh, the Earth, or not uh, dropping this object, it doesn't say where, it, whether it's inside of a, a vacuum or not. Uh, but any which way, we're going to use that as the accepted value and compare against the accepted value. And so the accepted value again is that 9.8 meters per second square. So if we take that, remember because percentage error, we're going to use the equation percentage error is equal to x of e minus x of a divided by x of a. That quantity, um, we take the magnitude of it and multiply it by 100. If we populate our equation with the values of 10.2 and 9.8, uh, with 10.2 being the experimental value, and 9.8 being the accepted value, we see the we get the equation as shown on the screen. Now, if you uh, remember uh, when we're talking about significant figures, we have to be very careful with our significant figures as we're working here. Um, and if you're not very familiar with the significant figures, I do have a lecture on YouTube on my YouTube channel that you can look at in order to become more familiar with it. Okay, so in this ex in this uh, equation here, we have 10.2 minus 9.8. We'll take care of that first, and what we end up with is we end up with 0 0.4 in the numerator. Okay, when we take that 0 0.4, we're going to divide by 9.8, and then take the magnitude of that, multiply by 100 in order to get our percentage error. Once we do that, we'll get uh, 4%. Now, that 4%, if you were to go ahead and calculate this out, you'll notice that it's, your calculator does not give you exactly 4% when you calculate it. And again, the reason for that, um, the calculator is going to give you everything that it found when it divided that number 0 0.4 divided by 9.8. However, when it comes to scientific experimentation and scientific work, 
Um, what we have to do, and, and engineering work, what we have to do is we have to express our values uh, such that we uh, pay very close attention to significant figures. So for in terms of significant figures, notice our answer only has one significant digit in there, which is the four. And the reason there is only one significant digit in there is because in the equation, um, pardon me, in above where we have 0 0.4 divided by 9.8, the numerator, which is 0 0.4, only has one significant figure in there. So we therefore, our final answer can only contain one significant figure in it. And so that's why we only use the four uh, from our calculation. Okay. And so that is the answer for this problem. We have 4% error uh, when it comes to this experiment here that we performed and we compared it to 9.8 uh, as our accepted value for gravity. All right, so let's look now at percentage difference. Now with percentage difference, since uh, we don't have, uh, when we use percentage difference, we're, what we're saying is we don't have some accepted value. And what we're doing again is we're just comparing two values against each other. Uh, so in this case, we have X1 and X2. So that could be one trial and then versus a second trial where there's no accepted um, value. And then we're going to divide the difference between those two x1 and x2 by the average of x1 and x2. And the average of x1 and x2 is given by x1 plus x2, that quantity divided by 2. Okay. So once we take this here and we take the magnitude of it and multiply it by 100, we get the percentage difference. Okay. And again, percentage difference is not an error. It's just a comparison between two things. Whereas percentage error is an error, we're actually saying how much different we are or how far off we are uh, from some accepted value. So x1 is the first value, x2 is the second value. Okay, so let's take a uh, look at an example here. In this example, what we have is um, a certain experiment is performed two times and the results were 5.0 meters per second and 7.0 meters per second. So that's the first time it was uh, conducted is 5.0 meters per second. Second time it was conducted was 7.0 meters per second. There is no accepted value for this experiment. So this is a kind of a hint here to say we cannot use the percentage error uh, here because what we're doing is we're just simply comparing. The question is uh, that's posed is what is the experimental difference between the first and second time the experiment was conducted? So remember again, we have to use the percentage error, uh, pardon me, percentage difference, let's get that straight, percentage difference calculation. And so percentage difference, the equation again is the difference between x of one minus x of two, or x of one minus x of two divided by the average of the two numbers. Take the magnitude of that, multiply by 100. So let's go ahead and populate our equation with those numbers in there. And we end up with the following, 5.0 minus 7.0 divided by the average of 5.0 and 7.0. Okay, again, paying attention to our significant figures, we go ahead and calculate the value in the numerator and we get negative 2.0 and also we calculate the uh, value for 5.0 minus 7.0, we end up with 12.0, all right, uh, in, uh, as part of the denominator. That 12.0, we'll then take the average, or pardon me, divide by 2 there, and we'll end up with uh, 6.0 in the denominator, and we still have the negative 2.0 in the numerator from uh, the prior step, okay? So when we now take that negative 2.0 divided by the 6.0, and then we take the magnitude of that, we end up with 30, 33% once we multiply that by 100. And so again, percentage error-wise, we have two significant figures in the numerator from the step above, two significant figures in the denominator from uh, the step above, so we have two significant figures that we need in the for the percentage difference. And so we keep just the uh, 33 in this case for the percentage difference as the answer. 
all right? So that's percentage difference and percentage error. Um, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, you can uh, find more lectures that uh, cover different science, topic, uh, science topics, uh, specifically in the areas of uh, physics, and especially topics in the area of engineering, or electrical engineering to be more exact. Uh, thank you.